Hello loves and welcome to another round of Tabletop TBR. This is the game that I created to help me pick out my monthly TBR or my to be read list. I do have the link down below to where you can get the game yourself and play along. Last month we had a limited selection to go by, but as you can see, I have made it to the new house and have all of my books with me. So this month we have more to choose from. And as usual, before we get into rolling for this month, let's go over the points and see how we did. So numbers of books read. So I finished Gallant, Poison Pins, We All Filed Down, Patron Saints of Nothing, West Side Love Story, and A Spectre of Justice. So that is seven books read. I read a total of 2,423 pages, which is two points. I didn't get any board points last round, but we do have card points. So, so again, one, two, three, four, five, six. That is six points. I did start reading the true crime pick, but I have not completed it, so I do not get any points for this. I do plan on finishing it this month as well. Now, originally I was thinking that it wouldn't count for a game card point, but you know what? Why not? If I'm reading it as an extra book anyway, I might as well get the point once I finish it. So you'll see this Kiwi. <laughs> So you will see this next month. Optional bonus points for me includes continuing a series or doing a reread, which I did neither of. And then in terms of milestones, we are actually about to hit two. The first one being that I have gotten to the halfway point of my reading goal, which is 100 books this year. I have read over 50 books, um, so that's five points there. And then if we do the game points here, that's six, seven, eight. So we have eight points to add onto our tracker, which means I'm also about to hit 10 points for this milestone as well. So I can just go ahead and write 50 15 points here. Let's do this real quick. One, two, three. Okay, we got a bonus point. Must use this round and read in young adult. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Another one of these also must be used this round. So a romance will give me another bonus point. What is our total points? 30 points this round. Okay, and then we always start off a round with one of these. Okay, bonus point to reread a book. And our first roll. All right, a six. One, two, three, four, five, six. First prompt, enemies to lovers. All right, and for our first prompt, we got Enemies to Lovers. And for this one, I decided to go with Beach Read by Emily Henry. I have heard a lot of good things about this, a lot of not good things about this. It feels like the internet is not sure how they feel about this book. So I'm interested in seeing what I think. It says here that August Everett is an acclaimed author of literary fiction. January Andrews writes best-selling romance. When she pens a happily ever after, he kills off his entire cast. They're popular opposites. In fact, the only thing they have in common is that for the next three months, they're living in neighboring beach houses, broke and bogged down with writer's block. Then one hazy evening, one thing leads to another and they strike a deal designed to force them out of their creative ruts. August will spend the summer writing something happy and January will pen the next great American novel. She'll take him on field trips worthy of any rom-com montage and he'll take her to interview surviving memories of a backwoods death cult, obviously. Everyone will finish a book and no one will fall in love, really. <laughs> Okay, so that's cute. I'm excited, more excited than I was actually when I picked this. I love romance, so odds are I will adore this even if it's subpar, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Great way to start things off. Second roll, five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, our next prompt. 
a book with an ugly cover. For the next book, ugly cover, I actually struggled a little bit with this because even books that I tend to not love the cover, I was all like, it's unfair to really say that the cover is ugly because you know, to each their own. Just because I don't love it doesn't mean it's not a good cover to somebody else. Anyway, I had to pick something. So I ended up going with The Book of Two Ways by Jodi Picoult. I think the cover is fine. It's not something that I tend to enjoy. Uh, it's kind of boring in my personal opinion. In. I know nothing about this book other than I got it in a Once Upon a Book Club book box and I've been meaning to read it so that I can open up all of the goodies from the box so I thought that this would be a fun thing to include in one of my weekly and or reading vlogs so that you can see what came with it in addition to me figuring out if I like the book or not. <laughs> So if you're interested in that, definitely stay tuned. This one has a long bit, so I'm probably only gonna read a little part of it. So everything changes in a single moment for Dawn Eldenstein. She's on a plane when the flight attendant makes an announcement, prepare for a crash landing. She braces herself as thoughts flash through her mind. The shocking thing is the thoughts are not of her husband, but of a man she last saw 15 years ago, Watt Armstrong. Dawn miraculously survives a crash, but so do all the doubts that have suddenly been raised. She has led a good life. Back in Boston, there is her husband, Brian, their beloved daughter and her work as a death doula in which she helps ease the transition between life and death for her clients. So this seems like it's going to be very drama filled. I not really a huge fan of this kind of stuff because I hate things that involve cheating and a lot of the times that's what happens. So we will see. Hopefully this will be tasteful because it does, it does sound interesting. So we'll see. We'll see. Next roll two one two mystery mug now i really want to do this but i do not have my mystery mug set up i apologize so i'm going to use one of my move plus two spaces which will give me a board point so we're gonna have to remember to add that here all right and let's roll again a six one two three four five six that's a re-roll a one. All right, our next prompt. Book with blank in the title. Let's roll to figure out what that's going to be. Book with we in the title. Next up for a book with we in the title, I decided to go with We Should All Be Feminists by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. I know I butchered that, I apologize so much. I absolutely adore her and this specifically. I actually listened to the TED talk where she performed basically this entire thing. I've listened to it multiple times. I ended up getting this. I think I listened to the audio book while skimming through it, but I kind of want to actually physically read it. So I think this will be perfect. All right, next roll is a two, one, two. This prompt says, book no one is talking about. For the next prompt, a book no one is talking about, I decided to go with Tyler Johnson Was Here by Jay Coles because I don't think I've seen a single person talk about this on booktube or book talk or bookstagram, nothing. So I figured this would be a good one that was on my shelf that I could see what it's all about. It says when Marvin Johnson's twin Tyler goes to a party, Marvin decides to tag along to keep an eye on his brother, but what starts as harmless fun turns into a shooting followed by a police raid. The next day, Tyler has gone missing and it's up to Marvin to find him. But when Tyler is found dead, a video is leaked online that tells a chilling story. Tyler had been shot and killed by a police officer. Terror Terrified as his mother unravels and mourning a brother who is now a hashtag, Marvin must learn what justice and freedom really mean. Tyler Johnson was here is a striking and heartbreaking account of police brutality and current race relations in modern America. Okay, so I knew that this was going to be emotional. Oh boy, was I right. Yes, this one is probably going to be a tearjerker. Hopefully I'll be able to pick this up throughout the month and not fall apart. <laughs> All right, and then our final roll is another two, which is another mystery mug. So let's use the let's re-roll that. And that gives us a six. Let me move that out of the way. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Our final prompt is a book that has 
a number in the title. I'm going with Party of Two by Jasmine Gulleroy. There was a sticker on the front and I didn't do a great job taking it off, so I will probably try to get that off better later. But this is a romance and Unfortunately, I have read a couple of books by Jasmine Gulleroy in the past and haven't really loved them. But since this is on my shelf and I do want to read some romances so that it's a little bit easier for me to keep up with my books, I decided to give her another chance and hopefully I'll enjoy it because for some reason I'm usually drawn to her books even though I've been kind of meh about them. Nothing terrible. I think a lot of the times they end up being three stars for me, but hopefully this will change the game and I will love it and give it five stars. So let's see. Dating is the last thing on Olivia Monroe's mind when she moves to LA to start her own law firm. But when she meets a gorgeous man at a hotel bar and they spend the entire night flirting, she discovers too late that he's none other than the hotshot junior senator, Max Powell. Olivia has zero interest in dating a politician, but when a cake arrives at her office with the cutest message, she can't resist. It is chocolate cake after all. Olivia is surprised to find that Max is sweet, funny, and noble, not just some privileged white politician she assumed him to be. Because of Max's high profile job, they start seeing each other secretly, which leads to clandestine dates and silly disguises. When they finally go public, the intense media scrutiny means people are now digging up her rocky past and criticizing her job and even her suitability as a trophy girlfriend. Olivia knows what she has with Max is something special, but is it strong enough to survive the heat of the spotlight? Dum, dum, dum. Okay, yeah. So gonna be honest, a little bit nervous. It seems like it's going to be focusing a lot on the after they kind of fall for each other, which isn't necessarily my favorite part of a romance. So, but fingers crossed that it's good because I do want to enjoy it and I do want to pick up more books from her for some reason. So I need a reason. I need a reason, give me a hit. <laughs> All right, on to the bonus point cards. So I ended up getting a one bonus point if I read a romance and I thought it would be fitting to go with the enemies to lovers prompts. So hopefully I read Beach Read and get that extra point. And honestly, if for some reason I don't get around to this one, I'll just use it for this one since we have multiple romances this month. For a bonus point for reading a young adult. I'm gonna go with Tyler Johnson was here. I believe this is a young adult focusing on obviously some intense topics but still technically in the YA genre. And the last bonus point, a reread, I'm gonna go with We Should All Be Feminist by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. And this one, as I mentioned, I did listen to the audiobook and I have watched her TED talk multiple times, but I do want to physically read it with my eyeballs. So I figured this would be a good opportunity to read something new that is also a reread <laughs> and fit the prompt of a book with we in the title. So those are all of the bonus points. And here are our current reads for the month, um, along with a Spectre of Justice, which is technically from last month's and I will still get the extra point if I complete it. But yeah, these are the books for this month. I'm excited to read them and see my thoughts. If you want to follow along, check out the regular reading vlogs that I do. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section down below. All that good stuff. Subscribe to the channel. Become a channel bestie. If you want to check out the more relaxed version of our tabletop TBR, which first video will be coming out this month pretty soon. So stay tuned for that if you are a channel bestie already. And yeah, that's pretty much everything. If you made it this far, be sure to include this emoji down below and I will catch you in the next video. Until then, bye!